A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter three, verses sixteen to twenty-one. Passage taken from the Message version of the Bible. This is how much God loved the world. He gave His Son, His one and only Son. And this is why, so that no one need be destroyed. By believing in Him, anyone can have a whole and lasting life. God didn't go to all the trouble of sending His Son merely to point an accusing finger, telling the world how bad it was. He came to help, to put the world right again. Anyone who trusts in Him is acquitted. Anyone who refuses to trust him has long since been under the death sentence without knowing it. And why? Because of that person's failure to believe in the one of a kind Son of God when introduced to him. This is the crisis we're in. God's light streamed into the world, but men and women everywhere ran for the darkness. They went for the darkness. Because they were not really interested in pleasing God, everyone who makes a practice of doing evil, addicted to denial and illusion, hates God's light and won't come near it, fearing a painful exposure. But anyone working and living in truth and reality welcomes God's light, so the work can be seen for the God work it is. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Gospel according to John, chapter three, verses sixteen to twenty-one. We continue to read from the third chapter of the Gospel of John. Even if you fail to remember any other words from the Gospel, today we got one to learn by heart. That would form the heart of our faith in Jesus. Gospel according to John, chapter three, verse seventeen. God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him may not be lost but may have eternal life. The passage speaks of the great breadth and width of God's love. God's love is not for just a few nor for any particular group of people. Rather, it is an unconditional love that embraces the whole world. and a personal love for you and me whom God has created do our parents keep an account of all the sacrifices they make for their children true love does not count the cost it leads one to make sacrifices willingly and joyfully a true lover gives his or her beloved everything he has and the best he has to offer God proved his love for us by giving us the best his only son Jesus Christ and in turn he accepted the most cruel death to show his love for us God's giving of his only son to the world carries a sense of hope and trust on God's part it has the sense of entrusting the most precious gift to the often violent and murderous world God's gentleness is not dependent on how the world responds. This trust of God also illustrates his readiness to face the vulnerability of loving. God is a loving father who cannot rest until his wandering children have returned home. St Augustine had said, God loves each one of us as if there were only one of us to love god gives us the freedom to choose whom and what we love we can love the darkness of sin and unbelief or we can love the light of god's truth beauty and goodness while writing the gospel over 60 years after the death and resurrection of jesus John was aware of the reality that not many people could recognize the love of God the Father 
and they preferred to stay in the darkness of their sins like nicodemus who came from darkness into light but could not accept the light of truth and therefore disappeared into the darkness for a while and that is the reality today as well do we love god above everything else does god take the first place in our life in our thoughts and in our actions